running gear originated from a friend of mine who'd bought a uh, crash damage rolled Mark III, uh, Mark VII Golf R um, to put all the running gear into his Mark III Golf GTI. Um, I drive in, got all the drivetrain in, got it all running, only to find out that uh, the rear end was way past his capabilities. Stripped it and uh, put it in the caddy. And how easy is that to put in here? Uh, front end was fairly simplistic, um, as in the engine bolted straight on the original mountings. Had to build a custom subframe to house the Mark 7 steering rack. Uh, and then the rear end for the four wheel drive system uh, was a full custom made chassis rails. Uh, had to tub the rear wheel arches um, had to accommodate the full Mark 7 rear subframe to make it all work. All of it done in the garage without a wrap. <laughs> On the floor. On the floor. <laughs> and is that running the standard ECU mapped by Revo? Or yeah, is this is a, a stock Golf R Mark 7 ECU um, running Revo Beta software. Um, don't ask me brake horsepower figures because I'm not actually allowed to know because um, it's not allowed to be publicly released yet. They won't give me the power figures. But we're talking 500 plus. They're, they're, all they're told is it's 500 plus. Um, so, um, obviously, um, personal best at the moment is 11.2, um, sorry, 11.12, 120.9 miles per hour. As far as we know, that's the quickest. And that's as far as, as, far as records show, that is actually the, the world's quickest VW caddy van. So it was a twin engine caddy van? Yeah, twin engine, yeah, but he only actually managed 11.47. Um, so we're 0.3 of a second quicker than he was. It's not bad, is it? Not bad at all for a single engine vehicle. Definitely went off very, very, very well. Be interesting to see what that time was actually. That is wicked. I really appreciate you doing that. Not a problem at all, Simon. Any time, it's a pleasure, and uh, it's always worthy someone like yourself to get the experience to get in one. Yeah. <laughs> 